What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today is September 5th, 2022. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Luna Classic. It's pumping the last 24 hours. Can it potentially hit $1 or even a penny? Why is it pumping? If you guys think that's interesting, stick around. I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, hopefully you're all having a great day today. Happy Labor Day. It's been a couple days since I've posted a video. Just, you know, took some time with the family, hung out at the in-laws, had some dinner, just, you know, relaxing, have a good rest of my summer. Hopefully you guys did too. So before we begin, hopefully you guys smash that thumbs up button on your way in. Consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Again, least you guys can do to help support my channel. All right, so let's just jump right into it. So there's all this crazy talk about Luna Classic pumping. Why is it pumping? What in the heck is going on? Is this just another hype thing? It's just going to be a big pump and dump. But uh, yeah, we're going to jump right into it and just do a quick crypto market overview. If you guys want to skip that, just go ahead and check the pinned comment down below. You can skip right to the Luna Terra Luna classic section, or you could just skip within the video. I do put timestamps there as well. So let's do a quick market overview again. It is still kind of the weekend, holiday weekend, long extended weekend, but uh, we are up about two. Well, I wish 2%. Let me just refresh it. Well, we're down about. See, I don't know why it does that. It goes up and down, up, down, but I guess we are up about 0.34%. The last 24 hours, we got Bitcoin down about 0.84%, sitting at about $19,834. We got Ethereum up about 2.79%, sitting at about $1,622. BNB is down about 0.7%, and Cardano down about 0.36%, sitting at 50 cents. Top gainers the last 24 hours, we got Synapse up about 25.64%, ETH Classic up about 22.04%. Got that ETH merge and all the miners and all that stuff going on. So a lot of people uh, going to ETH Classic. Voyager token up about 9.46%, sitting at 57 cents. And it's kind of funny they don't have Luna Classic on here, probably because uh, it's not on Coinbase, I believe. Yeah, I don't have it on there. But anyways, we'll talk about that here in a second. Top losers, we got Aleph.im. First I've ever heard of that. It's uh, down about 9.12%, sitting at $0.16. Cents. Tribe's down about 7.51%, sitting at $0.26. Cents. And Math, down about 5.86%, sitting at $0.13. Cents. Again, today is September 5th, 2022, and it's Labor Day. It's also International Day of Charity, and it's also National Cheese Pizza Day. Kind of random, I didn't know that. Let's see, National Be Late for Something Day. Uh, a bunch of other random days, but nothing too popular. World Samosa Day. And then a couple celebrities' birthdays. So that's what you guys have for the September 5th holidays. Fear and Greed Index. We're back into Extreme Fear. Yesterday we were at a 20. Now we're at Extreme Fear 23. It's going to update in about seven minutes. So I'm curious to see what that'll be. If I remember at the end of the video, we'll go back and check that. Crypto Bubbles. Top 100 coins and tokens. We got Luna Classic up 57% the last day. 196% the last week, up 289% the last month. Absolutely insane. I personally did not get involved into it. Mine's just locked up in Voyager. So, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. ETH Classic's up 21.9%. Raven Coin is up about 14.3%. And DFI up about 17.8% the last 24 hours. Take a look at my favorites. We got VGX up about 10.3%. We got Helium down about 8.5%. A lot of chatter going on with Helium and them moving to Solana. People aren't liking that. Yeah, I saw lots of crap profits on my, my Helium mining. Got CKB down about 2.3%. ICP up about 1.4%. And pretty much everything down uh, for my favorites. Total crypto market cap. Been pretty much trading sideways this past weekend. We're looking at about a $964 billion total crypto market cap on a trading view. On CoinGecko, always has us a little bit higher, saying we're about $1 trillion, $26 billion, up about 0.5% the last 24 hours. Total crypto market cap TA, not really going to get into this, but there is this bottom trend line that we have been using kind of as a support, and it looks like we are a little below that. 
especially we're in this channel too. So yeah, I don't know guys. What do you guys think? You think we're going to be going sideways? We're going to keep going down or what? Let me know down in the comments below. Bitcoin dominance is dropping a little bit. Down about, I don't know. Let's see. Right about 39.27% currently. It looks like we are testing the support back on the 4th of January right here. So man, it looks like we're at a crucial level for Bitcoin dominance right now. All right, so jumping into the topic of discussion today is Terra Classic. Why is it pumping? It is doing absolutely insane, up about 58.54%. You got all these people saying, hey, is it going to hit a dollar? They got this whole burn, proposed burn mechanism thing going on. Up, oh, It's up 60% now. Currently at, let's see, 0 0.004003. Volume in the last 24 hours, we got about almost $2 billion. The circulating supply is about one point or 6.1 trillion in this max supply according to coin market cap just under 7 trillion coins absolutely insane guys so let's just take a look at the most exchanges with the most volume again binance i do believe has about 40 percent of the total volume going on with the trading we have about 887 million dollars on binance we got BTC Turk Pro, accounts for $216 million, or about 12% of the total volume. Well, I guess that's 51% here. I don't know how accurate and updated this is. Uh, another centralized exchange is like KuCoin and Gate.io, accounting for about 10% and about 5.8% on Gate.io. Gate All right, so let's take a look at a little bit of technical analysis here. So, yeah. So much pumping. When you go up this fast, you're obviously going to come back down. I expect a lot of people to be taking profits here shortly. We are way overbought. We've been overbought since about the 28th. Actually, I take that back. It's around like the 25th of August. So I would not be surprised if we had a little cool down here. We are kind of in price discovery mode right now since the launch of that Luna Classic from regular Luna, where it kind of looks like it launched at a 0 .002, then dropped all the way down here down to 0 0.00015, so on and so forth on the daily. But we have broken above that, and it looks like we broke above uh, that top wick here on the 2nd of September. Currently wicked up to about 0 0.0041830 on the daily. Let's take a look at the four-hour charts here. Again, we do have some of the positive momentum on the MACD. We had that blue cross over the red, so that's good to see. But we are, again, if you look at the RSI, we are way overbought. So, again, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some type of retracement here or cool down on Luna Classic. So, just, again, I, I wasn't really big in Luna. I wasn't a big investor into it. I did ha hold some. And uh, I wasn't a big lunatic. But I know the community was huge. They had a very loyal following. And I haven't been following too closely of what's going on with Luna Classic, but with it pumping so much, I decided to look into it. So started on Twitter. There's a lot of different crazy tweets going around. This guy's saying people are asking, why is it pumping? It's because it's a very strong deflationary asset that literally has to go up very majorly and is formerly a top 20 crypto. It's the strongest, most dedicated community in crypto. It's evident smart money knows this. I don't know. If you, I take that with a grain of salt. Or, or it's just a bunch of rich whales just jumping in, buying a bunch, and they're going to dump on us. That could be the other aspect of it. We're in a bear market right now. People are just trying to make some quick money because everyone's been down since the middle of November of last year. Next tweet. So many people are buying a Luna Classic that several exchanges, including KuCoin, hit their maximum limit madness. That's insane. I didn't know that until I did a little research on it. So I guess if you're on KuCoin, Luna Classic is sold out. The platform's total Luna C holdings in the margin market have reached the maximum limit margin orders of buying lunacy have temporarily been suspended so that's crazy next from luna burn 13 we are currently at 528.8 billion luna classic staked an increase of 28 billion in the last few hours so 7.66 percent of the total supply is locked up of luna classic which i didn't know as well so that's pretty crazy to see uh, let's see if there's anything else here. Power of staking. Got it. And then we got this tweet. So MEXC, one of the centralized exchanges, have started doing the proposed 1.2% Luna Classic tax that started, uh, I guess, a couple days ago. And I'm kind of confused on if it's still going to be voted on from the community when it's going to be implement, um, implemented. I don't know if this is just something that this MEXC went ahead and just started just to 
you know, have the community backing and whatnot that just went ahead and did it. But we'll, I got an article I'm going to go over. We can talk about that here in a little bit. So I guess the first day they burned 11 million, and the second day they burned about 14.46 million. But on the grand scheme of things, when you have 6.1 trillion circulating supply of Luna Classic, that's really nothing. But hey, you never know what could happen. Last, they are trying to get ba- they're trying to get CZ from Binance to implement this same burn right now and I, I watched a podcast or a YouTube interview with him and he still was unsure because again he, he keeps getting pinged and tagged in all these these tweets so this one says let's do every time CZ Binance tweets ask him when are you going to announce the 1.2% tax burn for Luna Classic let's be all over this his mention if answers in that second the price will rocket let's not forget he has yeah 40% of the Luna Classic on is basically traded through Binance a little language barrier there all right, so I found an article. Is Luna Classic going to get to a dollar? I think this is basic hype clickbait article. We'll talk about what the actual market cap this has to be for that to happen. So, a growing community of people want to get rich quickly by prompting a rally in the crypto asset has been proposing for months a massive token burn that could reduce Luna Classic's available supply to push the price higher. The, all the gains that we've been seeing lately are grain expectations that a proposal made by several members of the community to impose a 1.2% transaction tax for Luna Classic may pass. See, keyword right there is may pass. So I think this big pump is just based off of all the hype, FOMO, and then Mexi already implementing in this the last couple of days. So how does the 1.2% tax proposed by Luna Classic supporters work? So the first formal proposal concerning this transaction tax was brought up in June. However, it did not explain exactly how this would work or the coding that will be have to be incorporated into the network's backbone to be appropriately implemented. So it was presented by a community member, Edward Kim, four days ago in Terra Classic's official forum that provided further details about how the tax would work. So the tax will be imposed on all on-chain transactions, meaning that it would be nearly impossible to enforce it for transactions occurring within centralized exchanges as they typically use off-chain mechanisms to settle trades. So this is why there's such a big push for the community to be essentially trying to get Binance, which is the top holder of Luna Classic. Again, 40% is a lot of the trading volume and these other uh exchanges right here btc turk pro 12 percent volume we've seen in kucoin gate.io and all these other exchanges so if it's they just have a different mechanism i guess on the back end uh so this is why the big push is from the community for these centralized exchanges to go ahead and do it themselves but when i watched the interview with cz he's like i don't know how it's going to work and like nobody really knows how it's going to work so i thought that was pretty pretty interesting that he said that and then here's the big thing, the big clickbait that I think everyone's talking about. Can Luna Classic rise to $1? So with the total circulating supply right now of 6.15 trillion uh, tokens, uh, let's see, even if the entire 6.15 trillion tokens exchange hands in a single day, that would reduce the circulating supply by around 700 billion tokens, 6.07 trillion. So if it were to climb to $1, that would result in a market cap of around 6 trillion dollars for a network that no longer being used by developers to power decentralized apps and it's no longer supported by serious developing team that can introduce upgrades and new features to the ecosystem so i want to say that again the total market cap would have to be six trillion dollars right now the entire crypto space including bitcoin is only 962 billion according to trading view that's almost a 6x in a bear market like that It's not going to happen, guys. It's just not going to happen. Let's see. So there was also something that they mentioned that, in addition, most of the trading of Luna Classic is taking place within centralized exchanges, such as what I just basically said, Binance, Gate.io, and Huobi. These exchanges may not embrace or support the implementation of the 1.2% tax and may opt to delist the token if the community ultimately approves the proposal. So this was another interesting thing that that I saw. So Binance recently informed that users that the Luna C or that Luncy deposits and withdraws via the ETH network, BNB, Smart Chain, and Polygon are going to be suspended on 7 September because of the shutdown of the Terra Classic shuttle bridge. Not exactly too sure what that is, but it must be something that kind of was different interoperability thing to exchange that token or ex- exchange that coin on. So users will still be able to make transactions using that Terra Classic network, but it's going to take longer to be validated as the network's processing speed is diminished since uh, the ecosystem essentially. Uh, imploded 
All right, so that's pretty much it. It's I think this is just a big hype thing going on right now. Uh, it's definitely way overbought right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if we had a retracement. I did find this website, Lunsey Penguins. It kind of has top burners, top holders, and it's showing uh, some of the nodes that are burning the most. It looks like this Lunatics token is burning or has burned about 2 billion Lunsey up to this day. We have MEXC centralized exchange, which is getting all the hype, is burning about 559 million. And then you have these other LUNC DAOs, Binance users, KuCoin users, and then all these other different node entities, wallets that are burning. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I thought this was pretty crazy. I don't, again, I don't know if they have the community has to vote to make this go official, and then all of these nodes and entities will have that happen, that 1.2% tax burn, which then could reduce the supply, making the price go up, uh, so on and so forth. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys. So even if it could get to one penny, the total crypto market cap, or not the total crypto market cap, but the market cap of Luna Classic would have to be around $61.5 billion. So that would make it at least a top three coin because you got Tether at $67 billion, ETH at $194 billion, and Bitcoin at $378 billion. So again, for Luna Classic to hit one penny, it would have to be around a $61.5 billion market cap. Could that happen? Potentially. I don't think it could happen right now in this bear market, but it's been an absolute crazy crypto space the last year or so. So anything could happen. And who knows how fast and quickly they could burn the Luna Classic coins and tokens of this 1.2% tax gets implemented. But again, I think it's just kind of a hype thing going on right now. And, uh, We'll just have to wait and see with with, uh, with Binance. If they implement that 1.2% and with all the trading, we could see a definitely another run-up quickly. But uh, when you look at the technical analysis of it, we are way overbought right now. So that I would, wouldn't would be too surprised to see a big retracement here soon. And just going back to the technical analysis real quick, going back to the daily. I mean, if you guys got in, let's see, around the 22nd of August, and you're cashing out right now, that's only been about 17 days or so. You're up 360%. That's insane. So if you guys got in around this time frame or any time before, if you held and you just had this run up, there's going to be a lot of people taking some profits here, I think, shortly. Not financial advice. If I did have access to mine, I'd definitely be taking some profits. And you never know. We could still keep uh, running up. It's, it's crazy. So that's going to do it for me, guys. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up button on your way out. Consider subscribing if you aren't and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Also, if you guys don't mind and you want to go follow me on TikTok, go follow me at Crypto Airborne. Go check me out on Instagram at Crypto underscore Airborne. And last but not least, go give me a follow on Twitter where I am the most active and where I do post the most up-to-date news and crypto updates. And then also go check me out on the communities page. I do have a Crypto Airborne community. Just search for me and I'll add you there. I do post some things here and there that I don't post on public Twitter. So go give me a follow on there. I would appreciate it. So that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your long Labor Day weekend. Can't wait to see what the rest of the crypto space has in store this week and what Luna Classic is What's going to happen to it. So again, that's going to do it for me. Have a great rest of your night. Crypto Airborne, out.